Hello, basketball fans. Great matchup for you tonight between the Cornell Big Red and the Syracuse Orange. Number 23 is the key guy on this team. He's definitely someone we're going to watch out for tonight. This guy can be you in so many ways on offense. He can really stroke the J, and he also moves well without the ball. That makes him an offensive nightmare for a defender. The Orange will definitely try and capitalize on his capabilities tonight, Dick. The Orange should be able to put this team away early, Dick. What's the key to them doing that tonight? Hey, Brad, for them tonight, the keys are as follows. Number one, Pound the ball down low for some easy baskets. It'll be a bonus if you can get their big man in foul trouble. Second, make good decisions offensively and reduce those turnovers. And finally, be aggressive defensively and force the offense out of its rhythm. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. He shoots from the top of the key. Arnold was a top recruit coming out of high school. Personally, I can't wait to see how he's going to develop. I'm happy that he's played out his eligibility rather than jumping to the pros. That's what you want from your top star recruits. The power forward handles the feed. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Shows patience, waiting for the reset. And he'll kick it back outside. He shoots. Goes in. Gave it up. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> he's pounding the ball in the deck. Where's he going? The post flashes up high if he wants it. He unloads. That's good. Moving it around the perimeter. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Post flashes for the ball handler. Goes up for two. Drops the bucket despite the harm. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Fed the low block. Double team now, bad angle. He comes away with it. There's a steal. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Inside. With a rejection. Nice rotation over blocking that shot. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. Inside. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Tries for two, and off the mark. The center handles the pass. He lets it go. Off the rim, and no good. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Beatty comes up with it. Good athletic move. Very athletic. He's got great athleticism. He'll regroup the offense. Trying to pack it inside. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. I did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Pump fakes. Time to pick up the defense here now. The shooting guard receives the pass. Up and inside. The point guard receives the ball. 
Leans in. Great play to take that to the basket. Step out on that screener. For the bucket. Contact causes the shot to come off. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Fakes the shot. He shoots from the top of the key. The Orange have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. They'll work it around the arc. Pass down the guy in the post to go the other way. Let's it fly. He gets the bucket to fall. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. Entry pass in the paint. Goes up for two. And he scores it off the glass. They work it around the perimeter. Adams is feeling great out there right now. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. This is getting ugly. Hey, if you can't check your man, it's up to the coach to recognize that and make an adjustment. Look at that spacing. For two, perfectly executed. Both teams looking to get things going here. On the dribble, gives it up. And all the way on the baseline, now the kick out. The defender is still applying great blood pressure, right? Shoots. Way off target. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. He makes a nice shot fake. There they come with a double team just and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. And they come up with a steal. Center it, center it. He gets the rejection. High post flashes for the opportunity. Got the high pick. And there's a lazy pass, it's stolen away. Turnover, will it turn into two the other way? He gets the shot to fall. And the ball goes out of play. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Great play to take that to the basket. Side. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Great shot. Puts up the shot. Makes the shot. Jumps in. Erickson makes the finger roll. 
Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. Erin's right about that. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside, outside action. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's not going to bail with ease, Brad. They work the perimeter. He puts up the tray. He's money with the shot. He attempts a jump hook. They still don't score. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. I just love the history that goes along with their basketball program. The past grades, the championship years, the jerseys, the banners. Really, Dick, that's what this sport's all about. Hey, success has been key in building this tradition. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Ten on the shot clock. With a bucket. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. There's a double team waiting there. I tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. With a little baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Going to move it around the perimeter. The Carrier Dome is going crazy. The roof's about to come off this place. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad and Dick, there's a lot of concern on the bench right now. The coaching staff can't seem to get anyone in sync. It's certainly not the game we anticipated seeing. In fact, some of these fans around me can't believe it either. Gets a second. Trying to draw some contact. He puts it in with contact and all. Looking for a good shot. They'll work it around the arc. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Cornell are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can't force a timeout. He goes with a baby hook. In and out. Blocks the shot. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. There's the trap. 
That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Gave it up in the paint. He up fakes. He fires away. He can't miss. Hey, this young man's feeling it, Brad. He shoots from left of the circle. The big Reds have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Scorches the net. <laughs> Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Dump it inside. Entry pass in the paint, and he scores despite the hack. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. Boy, terrible execution on offense. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Roll that one back. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Erickson picks up the defensive foul. Fourth team foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. on that free throw line and that's major. The skip pass is picked off. The ball goes out of play. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots from long range. Dick, they are on a deadly tear right now outside the yard. Everyone's in on the action tonight, baby. Looking for a good shot. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. They work the perimeter. High post screen. He was guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. Hey, defenders must be confident we're going for a steal. If not, it'll often end up with a personal foul. Number 10, coming in for the first time tonight. He will give this defense a different kind of threat at this position. Smart move. Picked out of the air. Here they come now on a turnover. Goes up for two. Cornell are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense. 
which is what we're seeing right now. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Gets the rejection. The ball goes out of bounds. Pressure that basketball. Help one another. Communicate. On the outside, 10 seconds on the clock. Perfectly executed. We need an instant replay for this one. That's just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Picked off. like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah they're really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass here's a double team that one's blocked from behind great rotation by the D I love it he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score kicks off the lazy pass and momentary look from three-point land. Gets it back out. He intercepts it. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Good job defensively. Wow, the screener took a lick setting that pick. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Gave it up. Picks off the pass. Pass break possibility coming. Or two. Cornell are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Double team now, bad angle. Opportunity for two for one. There's the fake. On the dribble, gives it up. Playing for the steal and the puck makes the block. Banks looks to be down emotionally. I hate to see a young man struggle like this. Looking for a good shot. Got some room. On the top of the circle, Dickey simply on fire. Hey, grow the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. At halftime, the Big Red lead by 11. Well, let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. Syracuse has been giving up the ball like it's worth nothing. Yeah, Brad, I don't know if I've ever seen a team turn it over the ball like this. They're basically telling their opponents to keep attacking them. Our focus player update, Dick Vitales, going into the second half. What does he need to do, you think? I think you got to set some screens for him, a little double screens. He's a great shooter, but he's not getting the opportunity. I think his teammates have to screen for him. Makes it. The 
defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Erickson is being praised by the crowd. What a... Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Basket falls despite the contact. Looking for a good shot. Jumped in front to take it away. Look at that spacing. Up fake. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Betty. Gave it up for the bucket. Doesn't go. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player, and they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Arnold was a highly touted recruit, if my memory serves me correctly. He was highly recruited out of high school. Hopefully he'll continue to develop and really blossom into something special. Dump it inside. Number 10 is called for the foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. They work it around the perimeter. They come with a double team to stop it. On the dribble, gives it up. Fakes a jumper. He was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part because it resulted in the foul. You see, that's what happens when you go for the steal. You end up with unnecessary personal fouls. Moving it around the perimeter. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. On the outside. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Got it. Almost lost a basketball. Nice high post screen. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. He gets it to go. And he'll kick it back outside. He shoots from the top of the circle. Goes. The Big Red are ahead by 13. Takes away the pass. For the bucket. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. <laughs> Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Ooh. 
Working it around the perimeter. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. They work it around the perimeter. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when they make that turn. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see raw man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. He took it hard to the rack and got the foul. Well, that's what his coach likes to see. His boys going hard to the hole and not settling for the jump shot. The Orange will step to the line for the first time. Makes the foul shot. That's a seven-zip run. Steals a pass. Trying to draw the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. Great play to take that to the basket. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He's got to move the ball. He launches a three. He buries it. In the paint. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. And a momentary look from three point land. Puts it up, looking for contact. Let's rewind that. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Intercepted. Looking for a good shot. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Take a look at this. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. The man is off the charts, Brad. And again, they look to run. For two, you betcha. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. 
They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Defense giving some room. They move it into the front court. Gets it to fall. Rejected out of there. Nice block shot. He intercepts it. Gave it up. He bombs from outside. Way off target. Muller picks up the foul. First personal foul. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle. A poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Takes the pass in the paint. I think they're trying to make a statement. He faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. Picked out of the air. Dump it inside. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. That's seven unanswered. off the lazy pass on the dribble gives it up the carrier dome is going crazy the roof's about to come off this place he takes the shot drains it Kick it back outside. He tries the three. Off the rim and no good. Goes in. The Carrier Dome is going crazy. The roof's about to come off this place. Oh, he's having fun with the opponents here. He sure is, but he better make sure that he doesn't cross the line. He's got some room. Shoots it way off target. For the bucket, Syracuse have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Jump hook from the low post. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Picked off. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. off the pass and has it rejected defense did a great job with the block shot and they had it stolen away one too many dribbles runs in first dick and then works behind yeah he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player and they made an error obviously but they don't have the great respect so they're saying you know what let him get the ball and let him try to beat us
There's a double team waiting there. From the top of the key, he hits a bullseye again. And he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. He intercepts it. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. They're rocking right now. My goodness. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. On the outside. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Big finish coming here, partner. I'm not going anywhere. Offensively, this is when it's extremely important to have the right people shooting the basketball at the right times. Cross court. The center takes the feed for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Side. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. And he missed. For the bucket, the land. The power forward with the ball. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Steals the pass. He throws it down court. Look at that spacing. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. The Rockets fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. Number 44 with the fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Great defense. He brought the ball back down to the floor, and he stripped him. And he scores despite the hack. <laughs> Strips the ball. They're off into transition. I don't know if you saw it, Brad, but the mascot fired up after the last dunk. I think he wants to play, man. He's all fired up. Put him in, coach. Put him in. Get him some T.O., baby. Get him some time. Give him a chance, baby. He gets it to fall. Jumped in front to take it away. The point guard gets the pass. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. And he's going to pick up the foul and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Looking for a good shot. Takes away the pass. Gave it up. The center takes the pass for the deuce. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Nicky 
He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. The Orange are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. In the paint. Tries for two. Easy one. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Tries to get the D to bite. Here's a double team. Stolen away. Here we go on the break. Goes up for two. Finger roll. Timeout's called. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, I'm sure the coaches are using this time to go over crucial end-of-game strategy. Now, often teams will dedicate parts of their practice to special situations and end-of-game strategy. Now's the time when that practice will pay off, guys. Thanks, Aaron. It'll be interesting to see who responds how out of the timeout, Brad. That bucket cuts the lead to one. I tell you, there was a lot of time, Brad. Nice low post play, good entry to the box. Up and in. decided to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. Looks for a three-pointer. He gets it to go. Replay, please. It's a two-point game. The fans are going to make it even tougher, Brad. You didn't expect him to quiet down, did you, Dick? Moving it around the perimeter. He shoots from downtown. He's money with a shot. Dickie's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. With the jump hook. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. out of the timeout, I'd expect we're going to see more focused play on both sides. One would assume so. Shot clock is dead. Follow them early and give your team a chance. I got to be sure they'll continue to look to foul here, Dick. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. If they can get a basket here, Dick, this crowd will erupt. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. You better plug your ears if they get a basket on this possession. And yet another foul. He steps up to the line. Misses the front end of the one and one. And it takes some pride on the defensive end. Here, here, here. 
He goes to the free throw line. No doubt. Second one, no good. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. He goes to the line. Missed it. These kids are really struggling from the free throw line. Guy. I hope they can turn it around before it costs them the game. With the free throw. Makes it. He hits his second. They need a basket here to turn this into a one possession game. That makes it a four point lead. These kids are here to fight, Brad. He dials long distance. Yes. Another foul is they're just trying to hang on here. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. First one is good. Hits the second. Timeout charge. Hey, can we get a drum roll, Mr. Nessler? This one's going down to the last ticks, baby. we go three points is the difference that's right so somebody better guard the York launches it no good Dick we look now that the game is over at our focus player and I don't know if it was the defensive focus by the other team but he didn't have it tonight I'll tell you one thing Brad it's so essential for the star player to really respond he didn't respond at all in a positive way and it affected his teammates as well Syracuse was caught in quite a battle tonight before pulling ahead for good. They expected to be the victor. They just didn't expect it to be this close. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.